Peep. We are breaking into coverage here as we have a tornado warning that has been issued by the National Weather Service just a couple of moments ago. This tornado warning has been issued for northwestern Ocean County and southern New Jersey and also east central Burlington County in southern New Jersey. You can see the red polygon right here. This tornado warning continues until 3.30 and we will be staying on the air for the duration of that warning or until the National Weather Service issues uh, 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 an expiration of this warning or deems that this is no longer a threat to the public. Now, this severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over the area of Browns Mills. You can see some tornado safety tips here. Uh, you want to seek shelter now. Getting into a basement, a closet, or an interior hallway is the safest place you can be. You want to avoid windows, stay indoors, and make sure you're protecting yourself with a sturdy object. So, again, if you are just joining us now on 6ABC, a tornado warning has been issued by the National Weather Service for northwestern Ocean County and east central Burlington County that is in southern New Jersey. This was issued a couple of minutes ago and the cell in question here was located over Browns Mills or 17 miles west of Tom's River and it is moving east, uh, northeast at about 30 miles per hour. So we put a tracker on this cell here. We're looking at 332 in Legler, 336 in Jackson. A lot of these might be townships here in southern New Jersey. We have Bennett's Mills at 342, 345 in Lakewood, and 348 uh, for the last community there on the list. Again, this is a tornado warning in southern New Jersey that we are tracking on the air right now. Um, I'm holding off um, holding an iPad here just so I can see some of the latest information from the National Weather Service and what we're looking at with this particular product is the rotation the storm relative velocity a lot of times when we look at this particular product we're looking at where the strongest rotation is and this is a pretty well-defined couplet that we're seeing on radar right now which is why the National Weather Service has issued that warning this is just to the east of New Hanover and Browns Mill. So uh, we're looking at east of Lakeshore Drive here where our strongest rotating cell or rotation uh, signature is being spotted here on radar. Now within this warning, this was not a, a tornado that was visibly confirmed by somebody in the public, but with the signature here, uh, the strong couplet that we're seeing east of New Hanover, this is why the National Weather Service is putting out that tornado warning, and this is why we are going to stay on the air for the duration of this warming. So a new tracker on this puts us at 331 in Woodera Estates. If you hear your town or see your town here, you want to be in your basement and that safe location. St. Vladimir's at 334, Jackson at 337, Vista Center at 342, Lake Club at 346, and Salem Hill at 349. Uh, again, we are continuing to follow this uh, potentially dangerous situation that's unfolding across parts of southern New Jersey. Paul, maybe we can show the polygon once again where exactly this tornado warning is, just so people can get their bearings. Uh, the time right now is 321. This tornado warning continues until 3.30 this evening. And uh, here you can see the actual warning. So if you're tuning in right now, this is east of Pemberton east of New Hanover, also east of 206, southern New Jersey, Ocean County, and also Burlington County with this cell that is moving its way to the north and east at about 30 miles per hour. At this point, we haven't received any new updates from the National Weather Service, but looking at that storm relative velocity, uh, a pretty good indication that there is rotation in the atmosphere right now. So those that are in this area need to be in their basement. Not seeing a whole lot here on the correlation coefficient or the potential debris. Typically when you have a strong signature on the relative velocity, what we were just showing you with the green and red, uh, you can kind of look at the correlation coefficient to see if any debris is being lofted in the air. And that would be within the area of this tornado warning. I'm not seeing any strong indication that there's debris being lofted in the air right now, but something uh, we will definitely need to check out. So 
The update that just came through from the Weather Service, they're canceling the tornado warning for Burlington County, and it looks like they're continuing the uh, tornado warning for Northwestern Ocean County. So if we can go ahead and update the graphic there right below me, they're expiring or canceling the tornado warning in Burlington County and the tornado warning remains in effect until 3.30 for Northwestern Ocean County. The update that we just got at 3.21, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Woodruff or 15 miles west of Toms River, still moving to the northeast at 30 miles per hour. This is radar indicated location, uh, radar indicated rotation. Uh, so at this point, no confirmation, but at this point we do have a cancellation on that tornado warning for Burlington County. So if you're in Burlington County right now, you still might be hearing the thunder and the lightning, but the worst of this storm is now just over parts of Ocean County. So here's a look at a new tracker right now. The time is 324. We're looking at 338 that this will be moving toward the area of Jackson Vista Center at 343, 347 in Lake Club and 352 in Howell. That was the latest update from the National Weather Service. And if we look back at the storm relative velocity, you can still see a bit of a signature here. It looks like the last frame that just updated, it's showing more broad rotation. So we're not seeing as tightly compacted of those winds moving toward and away from the radar site. But the area in question is still here east of the new Hanover area. Again, the band not as bright as how it looked a couple of minutes ago, but still enough rotation there, which is why the National Weather Service is continuing this tornado warning here into parts of Ocean County. So there you can see the tornado warning, the red polygon moving northeast right around the area of Collier's Mills. A lot of heavy rain, a lot of thunder and lightning with this. And you want to make sure that you are away from windows right now as this cell moves through the area. Whether it produces a tornado or not, there's going to be a lot of wind with this and also a lot of heavy rainfall. These are the radar estimates, the radar rainfall estimates at this hour. Our dew points are in the 70s. We've got a lot of tropical air right now in the area of this tornado warning. We have rainfall rates between over an inch and a half an hour to nearly three inches per hour. So don't try and look out your window. Don't try and take a picture to post on social media. At this point, you wanna be in your safe location as we continue to track this dangerous severe thunderstorm that is capable of producing a tornado. So right now it is 326 and the tornado warning continues for Ocean County. I'm not seeing any additional update from the National Weather Service, so at this point we'll still go with this tornado warning continuing until 3.30. So there you can see it right in the northwestern corner of Ocean County, that tornado warning that we're looking at at this hour. So maybe we can put another tracker on this, Paul. I know we only have a couple more minutes of the duration of this warning, and they may continue to extend it and when I say they, I'm referring to the National Weather Service. So right now it's 326, Woodair Estates, 336, the worst of this will be coming through your area, 339 in St. Vladimir's, 343 in Jackson, 349 in Vista Center, and 353 in Lake Club. Looking at the uh, chat that I'm in with the National Weather Service, one of the meteorologists is talking about how the circulation is quickly weakening as it nears Woodruff, New Jersey. If we can go back to the reflectivity mode, this is what we were showing you with the storm relative velocity. Maybe about five or so minutes ago, we had that strong radar signature, the couplet that we look for the inbound winds and the outbound winds tightly compacted together. At one point, there was a very strong rotation signature, but now as this continues to move its way north and east, you can see it kind of falls apart. It's not as tightly compacted, and this is what we call broad rotation. So there's still a lot of winds with this cell, but we're not exactly seeing the twisting and turning in the atmosphere as much as we look at the particular radar site here. Again, this is in Ocean County. 
Okay, so earlier a funnel cloud was observed just east and northeast of Browns Mills, New Jersey. So that was one of the latest updates. All right, it looks like at 3.30, two minutes from now, the National Weather Service will expire the tornado warning for Northwestern Ocean County. So they're saying the storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer appears to be capable of producing a tornado. So that's some good news here. Again, this cell here uh, that prompted the tornado warning within the last 15 or so minutes will be allowed to expire at 3.30. So, uh, Paul, correct me if I'm wrong, we'll stay on the air until that happens? Yes. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the broad picture until this warning officially expires. Uh, you know, obviously we've got a good bit of rain moving through right now. We picked up over an inch of rain in some spots. We had some heavy downpours here around Philadelphia. This continues to push east, and this is really gonna be the worst of the weather that we experience for the rest of this afternoon and this evening, continuing to move its way toward the shore. So we still have the threat of a few thunderstorms. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning that's also pushing into Burlington County, but right now this is the worst of the weather. So there you could see that tornado warning that will officially expire at 3.30. So rainfall rates continuing to be pretty high here through Burlington County, Ocean County, rainfall rates over two inches per hour. So although the tornado threat with that particular cell may be weakening, we're still going to be dealing with the heavy downpours as we go through the next couple of hours here. So we're just gonna wait for this polygon to disappear and then we'll be going back to regularly scheduled programming. So again, if you're just joining us, we were on the air covering a tornado warning. That threat has now uh, basically fallen apart. These cells have fallen apart here into uh, Ocean County. And Paul, it looks like the polygon is gone now. All right, we will be going back to regularly scheduled programming and Action News will be back at four o'clock.